Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do um, a reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So we're going to go from past, present, and future. All right, so... Let's see what the past was about for our, our Aquarius Collective. It is almost your birthday season, Aquarius. Let's see the past, all right? We got the past. And let's see what the present is about, all right? The present for the Aquarius Collective. Okay, these cards, okay, they, won't, they don't wanna come out. And what is the present for the Aquarius Collective? And what is the present? What's going on in the present? Okay. And the future, the near future for the Aquarius Collective. Whoa. Um, all right. So hopefully that's not reversed. Anyway. Um, so Aquarius, it looks like with, at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands. Some of you were kind of, oh, and the Queen of Wands. Some of you were in maybe some karmic relationship or some very passionate relationship. Um, there's a lot of doing in this connection. Maybe not a lot of direction, but a lot of doing. So you just kept showing up to the relationship, not knowing where it was going. And maybe there was argument or maybe somebody just, just started to see clearly that there is no progression. Maybe that there was another woman or man. Yeah, and that the, the relationship uh, it, it was just, it just didn't take form, form of maybe girlfriend and boyfriend getting engaged, moving in together. It just, there's very little progression in this relationship. And therefore somebody felt like it was, uh, maybe karmic right now. You could be in a, in the energy of maybe kind of being tied to your home, you know, um, psychic abilities being heightened. You feeling like there's a strong pull or yeah, a strong tie to somebody else or something else. Yeah, this would be somebody else. There is unexpected money gain coming to you, especially if you're an entrepreneur or this, for some of you, you want to do something different. You don't want to expand. You want to do something fun. You want to, it's like you're waking up each and every day doing the same thing and it's becoming monotonous, mundane, boring. Let's see what the present is about. Wow. The will of fortune. So. It says the universe is aligning. I'm scared. This was the past. So the past, the will of fortune aligned for you, meaning that the universe, God, spirit, angels, whatever it is you believe in, start to put things in place for you so you can take action and do something, make some change. The will of fortune is about change. Maybe you met your soulmate also in the past, or you met someone who was a soulmate, whether it was a karmic soulmate or a soulmate, soulmate altogether. I don't know what type of soulmate it was, but you met someone who you kind of resonated on a soul level for whatever reason. It could be a masculine energy also. In the present, you have the justice card. So uh, karma, doing the right thing, karma, karmically being rewarded also, repayment of debt. Some of you, you worked off some karmic debt. Maybe you felt like you needed to just get out there and do your alms, your benevolent work, your charitable work, just to kind of work off it. Maybe, and some of you were kind of doing it unbeknownst to you in terms of like, you didn't really know what you were doing. Like you didn't actively say, okay, I'm going to be charitable. I'm going to do this and do that. And then I'm going to, I'm going to work. I'm working off my karmic debt. It just, you just did it. And, um, the universe is repaying you. There could also just be maybe presently you're waiting for some legal matters to resolve money to be repaid, restored to you, or this is what you're doing, or you're waiting to repay debt. Also, maybe someone feels karmically indebted to you and they want to repay you. So the name of the game presently is about repayment, karma, repayment, karma. Get in where you fit in on that scale. In the near future, we have the tower. Okay, so we have the tower in the near future. Um, so these cards are so pretty. 
Um, um, so, all right. So anyway, you have a tower in the near, so all of a sudden, sudden upheaval, um, suddenly something happens. There's a sudden upheaval. There's an event, something that has historical reference. So this event, this all of a sudden thing happens because of something that's already happened in your history because it has historical reference. So that something that's already happened in the past. So it has ties to the past. And this also could be in your relationship or any type of relationship, romantic, platonic, business, familiar. What is the tower in the near future? We got the hangman showing up. Um, maybe you're going to look at the part that you played in something. What was your involvement? What responsibility, accountability can you take for this? This is asking yourself, why haven't I had what I really want? You see how many times you say I, cause it's all on you in the hangman. I, I, I. So you're going to see what part you played in something. One more card for the tower and the hangman. Why? This was also you having to sacrifice something, let something go in the near future. I don't know what it is. It could be a relationship, some relationship with a with a particular person, maybe a Scorpio, maybe a Piscean. What is this about? What is what is being all of a sudden sacrificed? Wow. Ten of Pentacles. I kind of felt like this was this energy now if this isn't a person this is an archetype this is an energy you may all of a sudden have done this sacrifice um or you let go of something or you you kind of really released and you let the universe take hold because you got two majors here and they bring into you the ten of pentacles long-term stability wealth marrying into money um inheritance windfall um it says happy organized people build empires looks like in the near future you'll be able to build something that will be long lasting some empire for yourself and or family um it just seems as if you finally let the universe do its thing you let go you don't control this give us one more card for the tower the hangman and the ten of pentacles three of pentacles yeah so it's like this could be you getting with someone else and creating the ten of pentacles this could be partnership this could be work or work this could be you doing some high level work here in terms of maybe and then you get the recognition you have a really good reputation in terms of long-term goal fulfillment achievement because you do high quality work life just kind of really goes into some self-sustaining rhythm therefore money is not an object it's not you know you're not really worried about it it's just there you're making it what is this about page of one so this could be good news about maybe a large sum of money or a, a windfall this is also doing what you want to do, how you want to do it. This is living life on your own terms, a renewed sense of self. It's like you finally, finally release something in the near future. The universe all of a sudden just kind of burst a lot of good energy into you or into whatever it is you're doing. And, and now you have, you got newfound wealth here with the four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It's just like once you release, you let go and understand that it's on the universe timing. It's not on your timing. It's also letting go of the past, something that has historical reference, maybe something you've already done too, because we got the three and the four of pentacles, which would make the seven of pentacles. So this would be harvest. You can't harvest something you haven't done already. You haven't planted the seeds. You haven't tilled the garden. You haven't well, tilled the, the ground you can't harvest anything you you can only harvest something that you put energy effort time work into it okay so it looks like for some of you who have been doing the work whatever this may be this could be day in day out showing up at your job at your business continuously being um stable reliable dependable devoted 
And now the universe kind of opens up the floodgates for you. If you know that you have not been any of those things, then this might not be for you. Um, that would be getting something for nothing. And it can happen, but I'm, I'm not the channel for that. So go where you can hear that. But if you know you've been doing the work, then you see in the near future, it all pays off for you. You get to kind of live life on your terms. You get to do what it is you want to do because you've already been through the fire. You've been tried, tested. You've been found to be true. So that's what, yeah, it's like obstacles are moved out of the way for you. Wow. And wish fulfillment. This can't, it, I mean, it can't get any better. Wish fulfillment. The nine of cups, the sun card comes in for you. There could be that you deal with young people or you, there could be a lot of people opposing you now because you, you got a lot of different, um, your day in the sun is here. The universe is shining on you. Nothing can go wrong. This is going to be, this is going to allow you to just rest here with the four of swords. Very nice. It's just going to allow you to be able to just take a load off. Um, lap of luxury, marriage, baby, home, stability, fun, playfulness, vitality, vibrance. It says that life will move rather quickly for you with the, in the eight of wands. Obstacles will be removed and you'll see the manifestation of your dreams. So you'll see the realness of it, the realness of it, the ten of pentacles. Okay. Um, you'll get some good news about business matters, your dreams. Again, the page of cups talks about dreams, dreams come into manifestation realization, protect yourself and you'll need to do so because people will be after you. They're trying to figure out how this happened for you, but they didn't see, or they didn't want to see the three of pentacles and the four of pentacles when you were in that energy when you were saving for a large purchase, when you were, but you had just enough and you had to save and you had to, you know, be prudent with your money. They didn't see you tilling that, that ground, that proverbial ground. They didn't see that. They don't want to see that. You know, that that's not glamorous, but they will see the glamor, the nine of cups, the sun card. And this is for people who work. If you don't do nothing, don't expect nothing. This is not the channel for you. We don't just yell out the words manifest, manifest, and, and then we hope and wish that it manifests. No, we get busy over here. We do things. We get busy in our lives and spirit then backs us in our busyness and opens up the doors of impossibility for it is on us to do what is possible. And it's for God to do the impossible. So it, if it, if it is possible for you to do, get busy. I don't know who that's for. I'm not preachy. I don't get preachy, but that's, you know, that, that is just what I have found to be true in my life. Once you do the work, you, I mean, doors open for you. You do nothing. If you just twirl in a circle, then that's what you get a circle. Um, this is what I have for you, Aquarius. Again, another great reading. Things are really coming into alignment for you. This is beautiful. I hope, I pray it resonates for each and every person who comes to the reading. I know that it will not, but hopefully this implores you to get busy in your life, to make those plans, to do what it is you need to do so that the universe can say finally, and then they can get behind you. But it doesn't happen the other way around. You don't put the cart before the horse. The universe isn't just opening up doors for you and you're doing nothing. It doesn't work like that and it doesn't make sense. And we serve a universal God who makes sense. Everything has to make sense or it, or it doesn't work, okay? So make sure that it makes sense, all right? And then you'll see that your life is, it gets a lot easier when you just do things in order and you make sense of your own life. When it's out of order and it's, and it's outlandish, then that is what it is. And, um, I even, I hope and pray the best for you that 
live on that wave. But um, anyhow, if you feel like this reading resonated for you, please let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. I'm asking for all of us because we all want this energy. Put some sun, some uh, sun emojis down in the comment section so we can have our day in the sun. The summer season is coming up for the United States. Let's make this the best season, okay? So put some sun uh, emojis down in the comment section. This is gonna be our best season. We're gonna have our day in the sun, a day of rest. We have done the work. You can even type down there in the comment section, we have done the work or I have done the work. Put it out there into the universe, okay? Maybe this will even prompt other people to get busy in their own lives. And if you know that you have done the work, you are doing the work each and every day, put your sun emojis down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book your reading there. You wanna know, is this the type of energy that's happening for me? Can I expect, you know, an, uh, an, a, massive, a massive amount of um, wealth, good news, good energy, good karma coming to me? book your own reading go to the website catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time where you can come for the collective reading and then you can also ask questions ask a question by texting your question to the number below thank you guys many blessings to you take care